Hey, this is Guns, Gear, and Gadgets with Grady and my son Jackson. And we're out here today putting together a barricade, portable barrier net. It's 12 by 9, and it's made by Ruckett Sports. And we're not going to, we've already got it out of the box. Um, here's the instructions, a little envelope. And in the envelope, it's just uh, some paperwork where you can join a Ruckett Sports community and some stickers to put on your net if you want to put it on there when you get through. We didn't put the stickers on ours. We had this last year. We made a, we practiced with it for a year to uh, make sure, see how it would hold up before we did our video. Comes with a nice bag. Uh, that was inside the white box and had all of our parts in it. So we've got our parts laid out. Um, what to do first, you have these two legs that the feet and so you're going to put those out and you're going to put this pole comes in three parts here and uh, it just kind of snaps together in three parts and so snap the three parts together and then you're gonna take this and put, snap it there on each foot. Make sure you got this on the outside. Okay, next you're gonna take your poles and this is not exactly how the instructions say to do it, but the instructions say put this in, but we're, I found that to be difficult so to do first. So we're gonna put our top piece, has this metal on it. We're gonna thread our we're gonna thread our net through it first. Make sure when you're doing this that this this is the bottom and the white rope is the top. So we're gonna take our top piece here and we're going to thread our top side pole through here. And then we're gonna put our bottom, we're gonna put our bottom side pole right here going to take this top piece and hook it. Got yours, Jackson. All right, now what you do, and like I said, the instructions say something different, but we found it to be easier to work with this way. You're going to put your side poles in. i let him go first. You got it in? Okay. And here's mine. All right. So now you see the pole is pretty much up. Um, we're going to take this bottom anchor and we're going to put, I'm going to raise this side up, Jackson. So you put it right there, hook it. All right. Raise yours up, Jackson, and do that. Okay. Back it up somewhere to be back on the concrete mostly. Okay, now um, we got it leaning because we're in a muddy place and that we're not on a level. Um, so right here we found this was the weakest part of this net. It was excellent. Nothing got through it. At the bottom here, it has these that were made on here last year. And you're supposed to put your net around here and, and hold it with this Velcro. And what we found was that, see how it's torn a little bit? It started to tear at the end of the year. And so it was better just to run it through there and kind of tie it or Velcro it. But this is the way it's supposed to go. But that's the weakest point on here. I guess baseball is hitting it all year and stuff. Caused it, to, caused it to rip. 
And then the final thing is we had these, you had these four, you put two on each side. That's good. Let's move it forward so we can so it doesn't turn over on this concrete. Right here, okay. So you were supposed to put the last two things you did was you put an anchor on the front, an anchor on the back. Same thing down here. Okay, and to show you how sturdy this was, Jackson's gonna hit a couple of balls into it. Now, my storage room door in my house is right here. I, if I wasn't 100% sure, this is a good angle to get this. I wasn't 100% sure it wasn't gonna hit my house. I wouldn't let him do this. So, and we would be out in the yard if it wasn't so muddy out here. All right, Jackson. Okay. All right, let's get one from this angle. Okay, one more. All right. Okay. So as you can see, this is a good net. The only drawback to it is these Velcro holders at the bottom are going to probably rip before the season's over. And so if you buy this, it's excellent. I highly recommend it, but I would get some Velcro, Velcro straps and use them at the bottom of it. Because you're probably going to need to before the season's over anyway. So that's it. It's Guns, Gear, and Gadgets with Grady and Jackson. And uh, this is the Rucket Sports. 12 by 9, the barricade hitting net. So we'll see you next time.